Now, Happy Heart Weekend has begun today, this Thursday, and all week on the evening show, we've been covering heart-related topics. And tonight, we're talking about heart disease, cardiovascular disease, and what are the risk factors involved. Joining me is Dr. Angie Brown. Dr. Brown, you're very welcome. I suppose starting off, um, cardiovascular disease, I don't know if, if people, obviously the word is something we all know about, but what exactly is that related to in our body? Cardiovascular disease rever re refers to disease in the arteries which supply oxygen to the brain, to the heart, to your arms, to your legs, to your kidneys. So if you damage those vessels that carry oxygen to the organs, then that can lead to a heart attack, can lead to a stroke, can lead to peripheral vascular disease. And obviously all of these things have significant consequences for patients. Absolutely. So if you have a heart attack, heart failure, rhythm disturbances, sudden death and so forth. So huge consequences for people. And in fact, the risk factors for all of those things is the same. The same number of things. Well, just going back on heart disease, this is Ireland's number one killer. Cardiovascular disease Cardiovascular is heart, yeah, disease. and that kills nearly 10,000 people a year in Ireland. So that's a huge Damn, amount. That's, that's nearly, that's, that's, that's a huge number, over one a day. And how, how aware of... How aware do you think people are of mind looking after their hearts? I mean, making their lives as healthy as possible so they do prevent something like this happening or try to prevent it. Awareness is growing, but unfortunately it's still not as good as it should be. Um, and I think particularly in women, often they think it's a disease that's just male orientated, but that's not the case. Cardiovascular disease kills women just as, as the same way that, as that it kills men and more people die of cardiovascular disease than breast cancer for instance. So we certainly do need to increase awareness. Um, we need to get people to stop smoking which is a big risk factor. We need to get people to have healthy lives, increase the amount of exercise they do, uh, eat more fruit and vegetables and have a better diet to improve their cholesterol, get their cholesterol checked, make sure they're not diabetic. And make it's sure funny because it no all sounds pressure. very simple. I mean, don't smoke, eat healthy food, go for a walk two or three evenings a week. But actually doing that, I mean, a lot of people smoke in Ireland. I mean, in terms of smoking, would that be one of the worst things for your heart? I smoking is a very, yeah, is a huge risk factor. Um, and it, uh, it's the number one preventable cause of death worldwide, in fact. And the prevalence of smoking in Ireland is still far too high. Um, so we do need to try and help people to give up, but try and stop people smoking in the first place, and particularly mm. children, to encourage them to have good and healthy lives. And this is up to parents, peer groups, uh, and to the media. It's multifactorial. It's very difficult because, of course, the tobacco companies um, spend a lot of money on, on advertising and encourage people to, to smoke this. Yeah, which is and it product. has such negative effects on your body. But as you said, you know, people do get into that system or that habit of smoking. Going back to, you, you did mention children there. I suppose it's all about instilling in your children or the youth of today, you know, how to live a healthy lifestyle because that's how, you know, we can maybe bring down these incredibly high numbers. So I suppose educating parents is very important. Absolutely. In how to, how 